President Donald Trump's affinity for Russian Federation President Vladimir Putin has strong racial overtones that far-right activists are praising. Russia Insider founder Charles Bousman sat down with Fash the Nation podcast hosts Jazz Hands McFeels and Marcus Halberstram, as news broke that 12 Russian agents had been indicted, Angry White Men reports. Sponsored the discussion quickly turned to race as the hosts defended Trump's Helsinki summit with the former Russian intelligence head. I mean the rhetoric, the level of rhetoric that they have stepped up to describe this historic event is just insane. McFeels argued. And over what? A friendship with the other largest white country on the planet. I can see why they might have a problem with that, right? Yeah, Haberstrom and Bousman both said in agreement. Halberstram said, some people are starting to comprehend what potentially this is really about the nature of Russia, nationalism, the affinity that perhaps Trump and certainly people like us have for Eastern Europe. They're starting to figure out that this is really a natural alliance in the face of their machine, while our American media is referring to this great uprising as global white supremacy and solidaristic white nationalism, so by all means let's proceed as planned, right? McFeel suggested later in the episode. Bousman has praised the alt-right and argued that the unreasonable hostility towards Putin's Russia, particularly coming from the US and the UK, is very much a Jewish phenomenon, and has been for centuries. The alt-right is helpful in understanding Russia, because it has intellectual heft, and produces a lot of good writing about Russia and Russian relations, much of which is spot on, Bousman argued. pointing out the pernicious effects of the influence of certain Jewish elites on many aspects of American and European society and politics, as the alt-right does, greatly assists in understanding how politics really work, I believe the alt-right will continue to gain traction, simply because they intelligently discuss two sacred cows, the Jewish question, and, closely linked to with racial equality in terms of abilities, and the desirability of mixed-race societies, he predicted. Bousman has also slammed the across the board, from Hollywood to entertainment to media to Washington, the poor sods being called out by the screeching harpy mob tend towards a certain ethnicity, not to mention the leading men in the spectacle, Bousman argued. For all the talk and blather and belly button contemplation that the drama is evoking, no one, outside the alt-right, mentions this obvious fact, for it would be impolite.